Hi. Now what we'll do is if you look down here, you'll see that we have the oak barrel that uh, I got from Lowe's and filled that up. Basically the way I set this up is that I drilled three quarter inch holes on the bottom of the thing you know, so we'll have good drainage. What I also did was added um, probably about three to four inches of crushed stone so that there'll be good drainage in the soil so that you won't overwater your, your hop plants. One of the dangers of overwatering it is you get root rot, which could kill your plant. But these plants have been growing very well. This is their fourth year, or third year. And what I do is with the uh, sign that I put down there, I'll actually put the year that we saw the, you know, the first year of growth. So this is a, uh, a 2010 uh, vintage. And with these, I'll put in one vertical stake, and at the top of the stake is where I'll take the string and then find those, you know, basically tie those to the trellis so they can grow up from there. As you can see with this hop, what I did was also cut these um, leaves up. Now, if you went into full production and you had acres of this, this is probably too much trouble. But, you know, if you're just growing three or four hops, you know, there at your house or, you know, behind your apartment, that this works out really, really well. Another thing I would like to draw your attention to is this is the southern exposure of our house. And so it gets full sunlight. As far as shade, um, it might get a little bit of shade, but this is, we're talking like, uh, 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning type of shade. So if anybody is uh, interested that this takes the full brunt of the summer sun, you know, here in, in uh, Lake Spivey, Georgia. And with these, these are Cascade hops. And really what's kind of neat is if you look at the leaves, you'll notice the Cascade leaves has more of a three-sided uh, look to it, you know, when it's young. If you look at the nugget, that when the nugget plant is young, it has more of a uh, a heart shape leave to it. And then right here I have a centennial hop, and the centennial hop you know, starts off with the three leaves, but you'll see more often than not it'll actually have a split and it almost looks like a hand with, um, well actually that's probably very much akin to the um, to the Cascade hops. So it is, <laughs> I guess a lesson learned from that is it's good to mark what, what hop is what so that that way when it does grow and if there's any question about what the leaves look like that you'll know the difference. But I do know that with the centennial hops or the cascade hops that they're much smaller than the, um, the nugget hops. So um, one other thing that I want to draw your attention to is this year what we've done is I've actually added about two inches of the, um, the mulch to that. Now I used the dark brown and I'll tell you the reason why, because I believe that the dark brown actually keep, you know, draws more heat to the soil. And what I found is that with the hop themselves, that the hops really like warm soil um, in the, in the springtime. What you'll find is if you have a planter with hops in it, um, if it's left out in the cold, chances are it won't grow. But if you'll take the hops and put it near a, a heat register at your house and warm up the planter, those hops will grow and they'll start off as, as early as you know February or March time frame. So you can actually get an early start in the season if you're you know starting uh, younger hops. But as far as these big planters, <laughs> they're staying out here. So I hope that helps and if you have any questions just stop by Barley and Vine and we'd be happy to talk to you. And uh, if you have any stories to tell, you know give us a shout. We'd love to hear from you. And again this is Dan Vallish with Barley and Vine. Hi, I'm Dan Vallish with Barley and Vine. And we've had a lot of interest in how do hops grow here in Georgia. Well, what I thought would be good is maybe take some time this evening and show you around to our hop garden. As you can see that we've got hops, or I've got hops that I started three, four years ago, and uh, had some way out in the, you know near the woods. That didn't work, so I moved them in a little closer. So um, let's take a look at how things get started. 